putting in there? Oh, Got a dude. little bit of purple monster. Hello, too. everybody. I'm Richard Older, and as always, welcome to the channel. This is it. This is the one you've been waiting for. We have the turbo kit for RichardOlderPerformance.com, and we started off with the bigger G42 Turbo. Now, you might be asking yourself, why didn't you go with a smaller GTX 3584 RS that has immediate boost? We know that it's going to do that, and yes, we tested it. we got lots more stuff coming up, but right now, we have the kit. We have the bigger G42 Turbo because we wanted to find out, does it work on the smaller 5.3? Will it work on the street? The answer is yes. Will it work for towing? The answer is yes because we tested all of this stuff. We ran the thing on pump gas. We ran on E85. We took it out on the street and actually towed with it. And we also wanted to find out how quickly does it make boost? Okay, guys, we got the Tahoe Turbo Kit up and running, just getting ready to tune. But before we check out what happened when we ran the thing on the dyno and tried to make some boost, let's take a look back and see where it started. All right, baseline on the Tahoe 5.3. It's about a bajillion miles on it. Hey, Jimmy, what are we doing? Taking all the stock stuff off. So right now, this is going to go on here. Wow. Ready? The RHP exhaust manifold featured a V-band adapter flange that allowed us to mount a variety of different turbos. We started by mocking up the larger G42 turbo. If you don't have the tool to disconnect the factory fuel line, you can simply unbolt it. We also replaced the factory spark plugs with NGK TR7s. The best thing, they came pre-gapped. Go. 
way, it's not good unless you get fuel all over yourself. Yeah, that's how that works. Here's pull it out. Okay. I'm going to have to pry against it to get this <laughs> The prototype turbo kit required plenty of cutting. Okay, guys, let's jump right into the data results on running the new turbo kit from richardoldnerperformance.com. And also, this one was set up with the G42 turbo. So the larger of the two, it's just basically 1,200 horsepower capable. And we ran this with the kit and started out running this thing on pump gas because a lot of guys want to know, hey, what does this thing do on pump gas? And honestly, we only ran this thing up to about 8 pounds. You could go quite a bit further on 8 pounds if you wanted to. We were a little concerned about this particular vehicle. It had 340, 350,000 miles on it. We didn't know what kind of condition the motor was in. So we wanted to try to limit testing because we also wanted to run E85. We wanted to run other turbos. We wanted to drive it on the street. We wanted to get in as much testing as we could before we'd heard. So later on, we'll, we can turn this thing up, but you can certainly go more, more boost and more power than this, even on the 93 that we ran during this testing. But we, we show here, and I'll go ahead and we can zoom this in a little bit. So this thing made 237, 238 horsepower naturally aspirated. And you could see what we did was step up success, successively in different boost levels. We started out with just the spring on our wastegate. And that produced a, this, the wastegate comes with dual springs. We took one of them out and we ran this thing with just a single spring to start out at the lowest boost level that we could. That produced a little over four pounds, four and a quarter pounds, 325 horsepower and 328 foot pounds. And then we stepped up using our manual boost controller up and boost up to a peak of about eight pounds where this thing made 416 horsepower and 420 foot pounds of torque. So now let's see what happened when we added E85 to the mix and we turned this thing up even more. Jimmy, loading up with E85. We like E85. Nice shirt. All right, Jimmy, man, we need to get 500 horsepower at the tire. What are you putting in there? Oh, Got a dude. little bit of purple monster. Dude, you're not using the purple. Okay, guys, now that we've taken a look at the power output on pump gas, we step things up to E85 with our G42 turbo. Remember, this has an air-to-water intercooler. We ran well water through this thing while we were chat dynoing on the chassis dyno, and we were able to run both more boost and more timing. On the pump gas setup, normally we were running at 15 degrees or so of timing, at the horsepower peak and less down below that where the torque peak is and, and on the onset when we're getting into the throttle we we're able to run 18 19 20 degrees of timing and more boosts on this thing we ran it up to a peak of about 12 pounds 12.2 pounds 183 kpa on this thing where it made 516 horsepower let's go ahead and we'll zoom in on this a little bit so you guys can see 
But just like with the pump gas, we started out at very low boost and then just started adding boost with our manual controller and went up and up and up and boost. And the goal for the pump gas setup was to make 400 horsepower at the tire. And then the goal for the E85 was to make over 500 horsepower. And again, this turbo will go to 1200 horsepower flywheel. So there's a lot more left in it, but we were concerned about our... <laughs> 4L60 transmission and the drive shaft speed, which is why we ran this thing in second gear. But as you can see, it did very, very well. We made good power. The kit works. Everything worked fantastic. So now let's find out what happened when we took it out on the road because we were trying to figure out what is the boost onset on this G42 turbo. <laughs> All right, time for a road trip. What we're going to do is go down to an auto parts store. We're going to grab a boost gauge so we can like check out the boosty goodness. Let's hit it. Okay, we went to AutoZone, got a boost gauge. We had to go to Ace to get a little adapter to make it all work. Jimmy dropped the ferrule, he's looking for us. <laughs> so we're gonna hook this up so we can see if we have any boost. Got our barb on there. She's idling. We got boost gauge. Okay guys, what did you think? As you can see, the turbo setup worked out very well. Even with a larger G42 turbo, I was amazed at how responsive this thing was. Now we know that it will make a lot of power, but I was really impressed when we took this thing out onto the street, how early we got boost. I would not think twice about running a 5.3 with this turbo, even for towing, it worked fantastic. Now we got to run this thing on 91 pump, we got to run it on E85, we got to do the roll-in test out on the street, Coming up in future videos, we're going to compare this G42 turbo to the smaller GTX 3584 RS turbo. We even ran that with two different AR housings. We ran an 83 and a 121. So we're going to compare the tight AR to the looser AR to the G42. We got a lot of cool stuff. And as we speak right now, Jimmy is installing the factory catback exhaust on this thing and connecting to the turbo. So we have exhaust tests. We got a ton of stuff coming. So make sure you stick around. I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And I'll keep testing.